Hey everybody and welcome back to another video on my YouTube channel. My name is Tahan Bay. I'm a high school senior who's interested in computer science, math, programming, data science, productivity, and a load of other things. And I make videos about all those things here on my YouTube channel. Today's video is going to be talking about how I organize my life as a high school senior using three tools, Notion, Obsidian, and Google Calendar. The majority of my work done is in Obsidian, but Google Calendar I use to schedule my tasks and Notion I use when I'm working on big projects that I need project management tools for. So my overall workflow is pretty simple, or at least I like to think so. Um, and I've been working on finding something that works for me for a long time. So what works for me may not work for you, but maybe this will help you figure out what tools might be useful um, for you to get started on your own being organized journey and getting more work done. I think that my setup is pretty nice. It's pretty smooth to use for anybody. So if you want to copy what I do, um, then go ahead. It'll probably work decently well for you. And if you have any questions, you can join my Discord server and ask me them. As always, if you like the video, uh, like, comment, and subscribe. And let's get into it by starting off talking about Google Calendar. So I don't think that Google Calendar really needs a ton of introduction to anybody, but I'll just talk about how I use it for my workflow. Now you'll notice that I've scheduled a lot of things in here, um, but I don't actually adhere to most of what I've scheduled. I go to the classes that I've signed up for. Um, these are all the light blue things. So I go to my classes. Those are non-negotiable. I have to show up even though attendance isn't mandatory anymore for my school. And everything else it, I kind of use as a guideline. So basically this Monday schedule from 8.30 to 5 p.m. I'm working and that's what I try to do. I try to always be working from 8.30 to 5 p.m. And then after that, I could kind of do whatever I want. This programming and business work section that I have scheduled around here is that if I have, if I have any programming projects that I want to work on and I'm not tired, I will get to working on them and spend two hours every day working on my projects. Um, and this is something that I'm going to be getting back into soon. Then you'll also see that I'm a club scheduled out here. Uh, senior right is hit very hard and unfortunately these clubs have died and the juniors are left without any senior captains to run the clubs. Um, that's unfortunate, but it's okay. Then on Tuesdays, I only have one class, so I use a lot of my time just to do work, get ahead on work for the week, plan up ideas for this YouTube channel and other sources of content, and that's all I do. So Google Calendar, um, by putting things down into a schedule, so it doesn't matter if you use Google Calendar, you can use any other calendar app. By putting things into a schedule, you're like, all right, at this time, I should be doing X. So even if you don't do X, you know that you should be doing it. And in the future, you might end up doing it. So it's not something that'll just like magically make you do things at certain times, but having, this, having a schedule and having something on the clock will definitely make you do it. Plus, this will also help you figure out everything that you need to do and everything that you have time uh, and every block of time that you have free. And based on that, you can determine, all right, maybe I should spend this much time, I don't know, gaming and then spend this much time um, working on my homework or content or programming or whatever. So that's how I use Google Calendar. Find my fixed things that I can't negotiate and then just use my free time and figure out how I want to distribute my free time. So right now I'm really focused on making content instead of focusing on my homework, but I'd still get all my homework done. So figure out what your fixed points are and then figure out how you can use your free time to maximize whatever you want to do. So this is Obsidian and it's kind of the crown jewel uh, of my whole productivity workflow thing. It's centered, I've made my Obsidian experience centered around these things called daily notes, uh, you know, open today's daily note. And these daily notes are what I use to plan out my day every day and then just figure out what my priorities are for the day, what I need to get work done for, and then accomplish those things. So let's start off by looking at my daily notes and then we can look into how I take notes in Obsidian and then how I use those notes to do other things. I won't go too in depth to this because this could be a video that's like 20 minutes long by itself and I want to keep this video relatively short, but let's talk about it. So I have a template for my daily notes. Let's pull that template up. And I start off with the heading of the date and I note down four things every day. I note down my mood when I wake up, 
how much sleep I got. This is really just what time I woke up. Um, what my productivity was for on like, you know, good, bad, okay. And my reading. How long did I read for the day? Then the, the first thing I do when I sit down at my desk every day is write down my planned highlight of the day. So today's planned highlight is filming my YouTube video. And the planned highlight is just something that I definitely want to get done today. And if I have to give some, and that this is the thing that I will make sacrifices for, for on that particular day. Then I write down I have something grateful for for that day. Today it's family. This is usually what I write because I can't think of other things because I'm lazy. And then I write down my to do's for the day. I, so today's was write a script for this video. And by script, I mean just an outline, film this video, edit it, then post it. And then I have to play a tournament game for uh, this Valorant tournament that my school is running. Uh, Twitch.tv slash the Sid Codes, link in description. Uh, film some TikToks so I can get count, so I can get an audience on this YouTube channel, and then pull Spotify data for a project I'm working on. So I write down my to-do list for the day, and then just go down the list one by one by one. Um, also in the morning when I wake up, I just write down some thoughts that I have on my brain. So today I was like, all right, I want to grow my audience, make more YouTube content. Um, I want to figure out what works well on TikTok so I can grow there and then redirect that audience to my YouTube channel. And I also thought that I was having fun working on my DigiHum music project and planning the Valorant tournament that my uh, friend group is hosting. Excuse me. Then uh, if anything of interest happens during the day, I'll take some daily notes. And then at the end of the day, I'll do a nightly reflection of what happened that day, um, what I need to improve on, etc. So I also use uh, Obsidian to do a lot of different things. Um, I use Obsidian to write articles, um, like this one that I'm currently writing. And then uh, this is where I draft my articles because Obsidian is markdown, so it's really easy. Um, to just transfer this over to my website, sidcodes.com, link in description. And really easy to just take what I've written, put it onto my website really quickly. Um, and a big part of using Obsidian is that I get to take really detailed notes. Um, and although I haven't really been taking a lot of notes in this particular uh, vault on my local desktop, I forgot to mention that Obsidian um, is locally hosted, unlike Rome Research, which is on the cloud. Um, and since I got a new laptop, I I didn't have a lot of my old notes backed up, but that's okay um, because some of the notes that I have taken are really useful and I use this to do write things like my newsletter uh, that comes out every week. Again, sidcoast.com if you're interested. So I use this to do everything. I When I script my YouTube videos, I write them here. I write my scripts down here. I write down thumbnail ideas for my videos, like QV or takeaways, title ideas. Um, and this is just how I really organize my YouTube channel, um, the articles that I write, and a lot of other things. I don't, sometimes, uh, I used to take school notes on here, but then I started to not really take as many notes in my classes because it's just a lot of problems and a lot of math, and it's, I don't want to latex it, so I just write it down on a piece of paper and a notebook. Another cool thing about Obsidian is that I get to see a graph view of all my notes. So here um, is basically like where my content is, right? So uh, this is my YouTube channel and these are all videos, ideas that I've been working on. All of these red ones, all these red nodes are videos that I've uh, actually gotten work started on and everything. All these gray nodes are pages that haven't been made yet or YouTube videos that I've yet to make. And my graph looks pretty sparse right now, but that's because I've only been using Obsidian really uh, actively for a short period of time but over time if you see a lot of other people's graphs they grow really big um, so I would definitely suggest using obsidian to improve your workflow uh, hopefully this section wasn't too long and drawn out but next section let's talk about how I use notion so notion is something that I used to use a lot last year when I was a junior but I don't use it as much anymore because I personally think that my how I use Notion was way too complicated and added too many obstructions to actually getting work done. Now when I make Notion, I kind of use it just as a, can, a Kanban board to track my projects. Um, so right now I'm in the middle of filming my How I Organize My Life video. Um, I've already uploaded a few. 
videos this year and I'm coming up with ideas for a few more. So I use that to track how I'm working on my YouTube videos in like a Kanban, Trello, project manager type way. I use this sometimes very sparsely to take notes um, just because uh, it, it's easy to take notes like this in like the Cornell notes method. Um, and that's that plus using it to track a current like lar if I'm working on a large programming project like a large software development project I will use notion to track um, that project by writing up a general roadmap this project great reads is um, it's like a play on the word goodreads because I'm trying to make a better version of goodreads with a better recommendation algorithm and everything uh, if you want more information about that follow me on Twitter and Instagram links in the description and then I use it like a Trello board um, just to track how my work is going. That's really all I use Notion for. Um, last year, I used Notion a lot more. Uh, I took I took a lot of notes on things for, uh, let's say, like the APUSH exam. I took a lot of notes, um, and that's how I use Notion. Previously, I also used Notion to track my college applications. Um, in terms of how they were done now you obviously see it being sorted um, and I'm done with my college application so I don't really open up notion too much anymore unless I'm working on sorting through my YouTube videos and figuring out where to put them or if I'm working on this uh, software development project that I haven't really put in any work into recently uh, I personally think that Notion adds too many obstructions to my workflow, so I don't really use it that much, and I prefer to use only Obsidian and Google Calendar, and Obsidian works absolutely great for me. Um, I'll leave a link to everything I've used so far in the description, um, and if you guys want to check that out, then go ahead. So that's it for the video. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you took some inspiration to start your own productivity system. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. Uh, join my Discord and DM them, or put them on there. DM me on Twitter or Instagram at Sid uh, Codes on Twitter and at Sid Twelve That Debate on Instagram. Links in the description. Um, and if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, comment, subscribe, all that cheese. Also, I send out a newsletter every two weeks with my tips on productivity and programming. Such, so if you're interested, you can sign up for that in the description down below. Uh, and keep in mind that this was just my system; it doesn't have to work for you and everything works for different people. So spend some time working with Obsidian and Notion to figure out how, what works for you. Take some inspiration from YouTubers like Oli Abdal or Thomas Frank and figure out what works for you. Leave any questions you have for me and I hope you guys have a great one.